Hey everyone, my name's Walter, and I'm back here to read you some stories from Reddit. Today we're back here with more stories about interpersonal relationships. They don't have to be romantic, but many of the messiest problems are, of course. We'll be using resources like Reddit Relationships and Am I the Asshole, which is probably the best source overall. I don't like to ramble, so let's just begin with Relationship Nightmares from Reddit. Up first, we have a graduation and a terrible family. I know, what a surprise. Am I the asshole for ruining my stepsister's graduation by making her cry and refusing to attend after she stole my bracelet and scratched it? I just got back from college, and after spending a couple of weeks with my mom, my dad invited me to come to his place for a week to spend time with him and attend my stepsister's, Annie, high school graduation. When I visit, Annie and I share a bathroom, and I leave my jewelry box on the bathroom counter. One of my favorite pieces is a Cartier love bracelet that my mom gifted me, and I am very careful with it. I wore the bracelet on Saturday to a nice dinner with the family, and then took it off right after I got back and set it in my jewelry box. After dinner, Annie spent about an hour in the bathroom getting ready for a party she'd been invited to in the city, while I was just chilling in my bedroom. I didn't think much about it at all, until the next morning when I was getting ready for her graduation, and went to put on my bracelet and found that it was missing. I immediately freaked out since I'm a very careful person and I never lose or misplace things. I texted Annie asking if she'd seen it. She still wasn't back and was instead getting ready for graduation at her friend's place. She didn't respond to me even though she was posting on her social media. I asked my dad and stepmom and both of them said they hadn't seen it. At this point I started doubting my own memory and broke down crying. My bracelet was an extremely special and expensive gift from my mom and had a lot of sentimental value. I just couldn't believe I'd misplaced it. Finally, Annie came back a couple hours later and I asked her again if she'd seen it. She pretended to think about it for a second and then said, Oh yeah, sorry, I borrowed it last night for the party. It's in my bag. I couldn't believe that she'd just taken my $10,000 bracelet without my permission, knowing it was a special gift from my mom. She'd complimented it before and I'd explained to her the value slash history. I blew up at her and asked how she could just take my bracelet without asking and then called her a thief. She got really angry and said that she didn't think I'd be such a bitch about it, and then proceeded to fish the bracelet out of her purse and hurl it straight at my face. I managed to duck away and the bracelet crashed to the floor. Needless to say, I was pissed. I broke down crying after realizing the bracelet had a bunch of new scratches on it, whether from her throwing it or last night. The whole house blew up after that. I told her I would no longer be attending her graduation and will be leaving on Sunday. Annie started whining and crying that I'd ruined her graduation by making it all about me and blowing things out of proportion. My dad and stepmom apologized to me and tried to get things settled. My stepmom specifically asked me if we could just both apologize to each other and if I could just let it go for today since it was Annie's special day. That pissed me off even more. I ended up not going to the graduation and I packed my bags and drove home last night while they were at the graduation. My dad sent me a text this morning saying how, although he understood my frustrations and thought what Annie did was wrong, he believes I acted immaturely by leaving, and hopes that I can apologize to his family when I'm ready. Yeah, he obviously doesn't actually understand her frustrations. Remember when St. Elliot lost his special golden necklace that his grandma gave him at a party? Yeah, that kind of thing happens a lot. And if taking this bracelet to a party to show it off isn't enough lack of respect, then she throws it across the room. And the OP is supposed to apologize for this shit? I don't see why this would even ruin the graduation either. Probably why it's in scare quotes in the title. Am I the asshole for getting upset at my girlfriend for exposing my lie? If I eat something that I don't like, my nostrils flare. It's involuntary and I can't stop it from happening. But at the same time, it's not super obvious if you're not looking for it. As a result, my parents know about it and my girlfriend knows. Anyway, earlier today, I met my girlfriend's family for the first time, so I was pretty nervous and wanted to make a good impression. It turns out her mom had made a dish I detest. I'd never order it out of choice, and it has some ingredients I hate. But given the fact that I'm an adult and wanting to come across well, I decide not to say anything and just eat what was served. I take a spoon and it was awful, but I carry on. When girlfriend's mom asks me how I like it, I say it's very good. At this point, girlfriend says, Haha, he's so cute when he lies. Mom, he hates it. Look at how his nose goes when he has a spoon. At this point, I'd just had another spoon and her mom noticed and it was very awkward from then on in. I tried to apologize, but she kept beating herself up how silly she was to make something and not ask. Her dad told me I was being rude by making my dislike apparent and that it was poor manners. 
After that, the whole meal was a bit awkward, and after we left I was upset and asked my girlfriend why she couldn't have just backed me up a bit, or even not exposed my fib. Like yeah, I didn't want to eat it, but I'd have forced myself through and then it would have been over. She said I was being dramatic and it was actually quite funny, but I see it as sort of throwing fuel on what was already a pretty stressful event for me. Wow, what the fuck is this girlfriend's problem? I like how she says it's funny, but it's really obvious from the story that everyone else there was either annoyed or embarrassed by it. I guess at least it was funny for one person, huh? And here's one that's both tragic and infuriating. Five years after the tragic death of her husband, OP's deadbeat former in-laws are trying to sue her for her home and savings, and have contacted her work to demand they forward OP's paychecks to them. Background. My husband and daughter died a little over five years ago in a car crash. I won't say accident because the guy who hit them was drunk and is still in prison, while I spend most of Christmas Day sitting on their graves and just talking to them. In his will, he left his parents a nice six-figure amount, plus he was paying them about $200 a week I didn't know about until a month or so ago. So I live alone, with a cat and dog in a spacious three-bedroom house. His parents blew through their money from the will. They tend to live outside their means, and now they have gone from asking to demanding. And finally, this morning, I was served with papers saying they were filing suit against me, demanding I sell the house and give them half. They claim it is his share, and they deserve it for having lost their son and granddaughter. I have never been close with them, and I know I couldn't get much out of them, but should I file a countersuit for harassment, though I know I couldn't get much? What's the best way to get them off me? If I sold the house and gave them half, they would get around $250,000. Which I know might last them to the end of the year, but I don't think they deserve any, and I'm not selling my house. So any advice would be appreciated. Note, they have also contacted my place of work and told my boss he should give me a raise but send the money directly to them. And he has recordings of those calls. You would think it'd have to be made up, but a lot of us have seen people be at least almost as shitty as this following deaths. Like I wasn't invited to my dad's funeral. Good thing he didn't have a lot of money, right? We do have an update here though. Update. Earlier I posted that my former in-laws were suing me for half my home and money since my husband had died over five years ago and they wanted money. After taking the letter to my attorney friend, she pointed out it was a fake, and a couple of days ago she contacted the firm whose letterhead it was on and informed them that someone was making false documents under their name. They said they would look into it. I don't know what happened, but today I got a call from my former mother-in-law saying to drop everything because the law firm they faked the letter from had called them and said they were pressing legal action against them. I don't know exactly what, but she made it seem pretty serious. After listening to her rant, I just said, We have nothing in common anymore. Please leave me alone or the law firm won't be the only one going after you. She started yelling at me and I just hung up. My attorney told me we have a pretty good case if we choose to go after them, though I don't know what I could get after the law firm they faked the letter from is done with them. My biggest fear going home over the holidays a couple weeks ago was that I would run into them, but fortunately that didn't happen. Yeah, that was from Reddit legal advice originally, and it sounded like advice was pretty easy to give. These parents must be beyond delusional to think she owes them anything. Who gets a bunch of money when their kids die anyway? It's not really an expectation to most people. I'd like to cover another story today. Let's see. Hey, this one's about a daughter's boyfriend being kicked out over a birthday cake. Now why does that sound so familiar? And no, it's not the same guy. Am I the asshole for kicking my daughter's boyfriend out of the house for eating from the birthday cake before the party started? I'm a mother of two girls, Lily, 14, and Monica, 21. Monica has a boyfriend, 20, who visits with her often. To be frank, he's not too polite, or to rephrase, he lacks social skills and always ends up doing things that can be annoying whether intentional or not. It's been affecting Lily, and there have been instances where Monica's boyfriend ruined Lily's math project and ruined her camera by dropping it. Because of this increasingly reckless behavior, I've set some basic rules and asked him to follow, like not touching anything that belongs to Lily. Monica didn't approve and said I was treating her boyfriend like a child, and asked me to treat him like it's his own home, but I made it clear that he comes over as a guest and should be behaving as such, not running around the house causing damage like kids do. A few days ago was Lily's birthday. My sister picked up the cake from the bakery store that we pre-ordered, and I kept it in the refrigerator till we get finished with preparations. We were upstairs while Monica's boyfriend was in the living room. I went downstairs and into the kitchen to get the cake. I opened the refrigerator and saw that someone cut and took a piece of the birthday cake. I was infuriated. I figured it was Monica's boyfriend. I went to ask him and he said it was him. I screamed at him and he said he was sorry but he was hungry. 
I told him that was my daughter's birthday cake, and I asked if there was literally anything he could have eaten, and he said yes, there was, but really he just wanted a piece of that cake, because he couldn't wait till the party started. I kept screaming at him that he ruined the entire party, now Lily won't even want to blow the candles when the cake looked like that. He got defensive and said that it didn't matter if he ate it before Lily blew the candles, and that all those birthday party rules are lame, and people should just eat the freaking cake once it arrives. Also said that it wasn't like he ate the whole thing. I lost it and told him to get out of my house. He kept calling out for Monica to come downstairs and deal with me. Monica yelled at him and thought that was it. Saying what he did didn't warrant me kicking him out, but I insisted he leave immediately. She begged me to let it go, but I said not a chance. They both left after they argued with me and got my sister involved. We had to delay the celebration for two hours so we could get another cake. Unlike the previous one, this one wasn't customized. Monica has been angry with me for how I treated her boyfriend and kicking him out on Lily's birthday and said that Lily wouldn't have minded, but I was disrespecting her boyfriend and looking for excuses to keep him out of the house. Also said I caused them to miss the party. She wanted me to call him and apologize, but I refused. Was I the asshole here? So I take it she's not going to let him live in the pool house? I'm not sure I understand ordering a new cake, but I'm not a 14-year-old girl either. You probably guessed that from my voice by now. You'd have to be pretty bad socially to do this. Even children would know not to do this generally. So he probably just doesn't give a shit. Not only does he defend himself without a defense, aside from I wanted to, but the daughter defends him too, somehow. That didn't even happen in the cake puncher story. If you don't know what I'm talking about with these cake puncher references, you should check out my series on a similar Redditor. I'll link to it in the description. As far as I know, he's still gone. Anyway, it's about all the time I have for you today. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say about my content or the stories, make sure you let me hear it in the comments. I do read those and even respond sometimes. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of the same. Thanks also to my awesome patrons. I'll be shouting them out by name tomorrow if all goes well. I do plan some videos this week, including possibly Elliot Roger. All that's left I want to cover is the Powerball Saga and maybe how badly the Day of Retribution went. We'll see what happens. Have a great night, everyone, and try to find something to eat that isn't someone else's untouched birthday cake.